when E5 is kind of available, what will the treatment be like? Um, and how, what would the cadence or like the frequency of usage, do you think? Yeah. Do you know enough? We, we don't know enough except we know this. The life history of every mammal is pretty nearly identical from young adulthood, where it has certain obligations, finding a mate, et cetera, to, to uh, middle age, where it has the obligations of protecting the herd or the, or the family, to, to old age, where, to where it's eventually defeated and, and, and dies. Um, and life seems just to be a progression through these stages. The rate at which it progresses is the major determinant of lifespan, that, that seems to be it. It seems to be that damage is what drives the progression, not, not damage. Mechanisms used to prevent damage are down-regulated. So for example, it was shown that, that the mechanisms for for uh, repairing single strand breaks in DNA are turned down at young adulthood. Not surprisingly, single strand breaks start accumulating. And for me, that's a signal for the next stage. Mm. Uh, and so it occurs. So, so this uh, so-called stochastic damage, which is stochastic because the enzymes have been down-regulated for repairing it, Mm -hmm. um, drives the, the uh, progression through the adult life stages. Right. So the best you can do with uh, something to slow down that, that progression, because you can't stop it. You can stop it or reverse it. That would be a different story. And I, ha and I have certain stories about that. Um, which ultimately means that the best you can do is extend senescence, because when are you going to start taking these treatments? Mm -hmm. uh, so to me, that's an unacceptable alternative. That's, uh, that's something mm -hmm. out of Jonathan Swift's book, uh, where, where the, the, I forget what they called them, um, people just get older older and older and, and uh, they live forever, but their memories are gone and they're, uh, they're that's, a, that's not a solution. The solution is to reset the epigenetic clock in every cell, which sounds impossible if we've done it. Right. And okay, so how often would you need to reset it? Do you think? Yes. So as I was saying, we see life as progression through life stages. So for instance, one month in a rat's life is about two and a half human years. Mm -hmm. We do the rejuvenations every three months, which is approximately eight human years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my best estimate. Right, okay. No, that, I mean, that sounds great. I mean, would there be, so when you take E5, or when, uh, when you have E5 injected, right? It, yeah, it, it would probably actually be more an infusion than an injection because of the volume. Right. Okay. So you, so you take some blood out and mix it up and put it back, something. Okay. Interesting. Um, so it, w when you take E5, it kind of resets you back to like an earlier age, but then you follow the same path that you would have done, but you're just starting it earlier again. And again. I, yeah. So you, correct. Correct. Okay. Do, do you, you think... Re resetting the clock, as it were. Right. Do, do you think there would be any way to um, like just stop the clock? I mean stop it from moving forward at all? I think, 
I think damage is inevitable. Mm. It's a it's a very the very result of our our oxygen utilization, the very result of mm. oxygen metabolism. We create ROS uh, reactive oxygen species at a rate of anywhere from 0.1 to 2% of, of all the oxygen molecules we use. Uh, so I think that the best you could do is slow down the rate of aging, mm. or perhaps minuscule it. But by reversing the cell's epigenetic age, you know, mm. the uh, Thomas Kirkwood has a theory called disposable soma, which is, mm. has become one of the more popular theories. The basic idea is that the uh, in nature, there's not enough energy for both repair and reproduction. So an animal devotes its, its the majority of its energy to, to uh, reproduction and leaves repair to the germline cells. Mm -hmm. That turns out within the last week to have been to be false. It's been shown that, that the early embryo retains the age signature of its mother retains the same epigenetic age signature as its mother until it reaches the gastrula stage. That's the stage at which its own genes start, start uh, taking the place of the maternally implanted genes that have been operating it. At that age, its clock resets to zero. So it was never the case that the germ cells maintained mm. uh, their perfect fidelity it, it, this rejuvenation and this return to perfect fidelity apparently is is a natural aspect of organisms even mother yeast cells with dna full of damages produce perfect colors so you know, we're at the only at the very beginning of biology. Biology is complex beyond our imagination. Even with what we know, we think we know a lot. We, we, we find we know very, very little, uh, as each new discovery points out. So, yes. Yeah. So we, we think we've discovered a, an entire continent. We've seen a few of the higher peaks, very high peaks. Uh, but uh, we think there's much more out there. Right. Well, it's like, like the title of your book, right? The Illusion of Knowledge.